Remove the empty spool from the shaft by undoing your retaining screw and sliding it off. Drill two holes in your spool, one on the top flange, one on the bottom flange. The holes should be opposite each other, roughly 2mm in diameter and near the outside of the spool flange. Pop your spool back onto the winding shaft. Wedge a matchstick between the shaft and the spool. This will stop the spool from spinning around. With the two spools of wire mounted on the feeding shaft at the back of our coil jig, Take one of each wire and thread them through the uh, little hole that you've drilled on the flange. Pull the wires through so you have roughly 100 millimeters poking out and slowly start winding the spool backwards towards you and feed the wires in parallel onto your spool. As you can see the wires have started winding from the left and moving to the right. It will take roughly 50 winds on this particular spool to fill up the bottom. When we get to the right hand side with the 50 winds we simply just start feeding the wire backwards for another 50 winds. Keep repeating this process. Of, until you fill up the spool with the number of wines that you require. Here we've done 400 wines so far. So we've gone across 50 from left to right, then back for another 50, that's for 100. Every 100 I've drawn a line on that white piece of paper just so I can keep track of how many wines I have on my spool so far. Okay, this is a finished spool. It has 870 wines on it. Um, I've um, finished on the right side of the spool with my winding. So we've started on the left and we've ended up on the right. So I've just cut off uh, an extra 100 mil and uh, poked it through the, uh, the flange hole. Next we just want to wrap some black electrical tape around the uh, wires just to keep them all in place and to protect them from uh, scratches and so on which will, uh, is a potential for short circuiting. And there's our final coil. Two wires wrapped around a spool in parallel to give us our bifiller coil.